Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer tabs? Well, of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Nice, the door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, and a lot of nasty stuff happened here. I mean, this place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hoped they disappeared. where the hundred hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, slaying themselves with metal wires from their beds. Be careful where you step. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder, and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything, or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. All right, check that. Now into this microphone. All right, let's try one more spot. <sighs> Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show up or piss off.
entrance to patient cells 200 to 219. We're talking extreme bipolarism, schizophrenia, dementia. Not necessarily dangerous, but it could be a challenge for society. Dang, the door's locked. That sucks.
to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. Hold on, hold on. That staircase wasn't there before. This place doesn't even have a basement. What the... F what, what is going on? Alright, alright, just... I don't think you got any other choice. I think you gotta make your way downstairs. Then he discovered that if he closed his 
eyes. He could escape Clive, but whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free, he was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, I'm trying to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Sorry. 